Dina, this I feel like is the first weekend where it starts to feel like that countdown is on. The anticipation yeah. is there between uh -huh. thunder and all of this in. stuff coming in the next two weeks. It, it's I know. It's the most exciting season. time of the year. It really Aside is. from Christmas. Well, gotta, gotta love Christmas, but yeah. Kentucky Ann is the most exciting time of the year. <laughs> that's that's exactly right. You know, it doesn't really feel like it out there this morning that we're already at this time of the year, but we'll get there. I'm just not uh, this week because we're actually going to be waking up to temperatures hovering around freezing this morning and then again tomorrow morning. Now around Louisville International Airport, it's a little bit more mild. That's thanks to this deck of clouds that really has not been moving out at all overnight. It does look like we're getting a little bit of clearing in the sky though as we look overhead on uh, your screen there. You're seeing a little bit of sunshine poking out. So I still wouldn't be surprised if we saw that number drop just a little bit more before it does start to take off. That being said, though, today is going to be well below average for this time of year. We're not even going to be making it out of the 50s even by the time the day is done. So bear that in mind. Out the door this morning, you'll certainly want to keep that coat on. You can probably lose the winter coat this afternoon, but you're still going to want to have some sort of extra layer because it's going to be very slow to see those temperatures warm up. In fact, most of us still in those 40s by mid morning this morning into this afternoon we will still be dealing with a good layer of clouds out there, but uh, some peaks of sunshine from time to time for you folks in southern Indiana and farther on down to the south. Temperatures, though, they're going to hover right around 50 degrees by lunch. I think we eventually make it up to the upper 50s, but our average this time of year actually is 72 degrees, and we're staying far from that number today and really into the next couple of days, too. So tomorrow morning, it is going to be even colder than what we're waking up to this morning, as many of us could even fall below freezing, especially in southern Indiana and on the outskirts of town. So tomorrow morning likely waking up to about 32 degrees in Shepherdsville. And then I have a low going of the middle 30s here in the city. Going into Monday afternoon in the evening, we should do a handful of degrees better than what we're going to do today, but still below average. That's just going to be the pattern that we're getting into through the next couple of days. But because it is going to be getting quite so chilly tomorrow morning, we are going to have a freeze warning lasting through 9 o'clock for your Monday morning. Here's a look at what we could wake up to. Temperatures below freezing by just a couple of degrees, maybe even a rogue 29 degree reading, Paoli over to Corden. So needless to say, you will really want to bundle up if you're uh, headed off to work tomorrow morning or bring the kids off to the bus stop. Other than that, though, into the afternoon, we're going to do OK into the next few days. It's just going to be below average. Uh, that's until we get to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. That's when stuff gets a little bit more unsettled. But as I mentioned, yeah, it's going to be chilly through the next couple of days. It's not really going to feel like we're already in that derby season, at least not this week, as we're only crawling to the upper 50s today. 60s tomorrow and each and every afternoon for the next seven, only going to be making it in the mid 60s or the upper 60s as we had in into next weekend, but we are going to be dodging that daily chance for a shower or storm Wednesday through this time next weekend. So try to get outside over the next couple of days. Just make sure you're packing on that sweater if you're headed out and about for the next couple of afternoons.